In these videos, we're going to figure out uh, a missing angle in a complementary or supplementary pair of angles, which basically means in that in these examples, you'll get pairs of angles, so two angles, one will be missing, and we need to be able to recognize if they're a supplementary pair, if they add up to 180, that's supplementary. So supplementary, add up to 180 degrees, that would be like a straight line. Or if they're complementary, and complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So complementary. Complementary. Okay, there we go. So here we can tell that this is going to be a supplementary pair because this is a straight line. And when you have a straight line, the angles that make up that straight line have to add up to 180 degrees. So this question is asking for what? It says, what is the measure of y? So 45 degrees plus what equals 180 degrees. You can just subtract 45 from 180 to get y, right? Because if y plus something, y plus 45 equals 180, then if you take 45 away from 180, you'll have to be left over with that missing y. So this is going to be 135 degrees. And you could check 45 plus 135, that's a supplementary pair, right? And that does equal 180 degrees. And in this, we actually have a, a similar situation. We want to know what is the measure of angle, I'll write it larger, J, K, M. So just follow those points, here's J, Here's K and here's M, and it forms angle X. So look at angle X and 2X. They're sitting on this line right here, so they're a supplementary pair. They add up to 180 degrees. So we don't know what X is yet, but if I know if I take two X's and then add it to another X, I will get 180. So this, if I combine these two, if I have two X's and then another x, we have three x's equal to 180, and this is saying, well, three times what, right, times what x gives you 180. So what number times three is, is 180? And if we can't see it, we can just divide both sides by three, and that will tell us what the answer is. So we have to figure out what is 180 divided by three. And that makes sense, right? If 3 times something is 180, then 180 divided by 3 would have to give you the missing number, and that here is 60, because 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So x right here is 60. Okay, so it tells us in this situation that angle G and angle H are complementary. Ooh, and I think I spelled it wrong before. Um, complementary, I think it's C-O-M-P-L-E. M E N T A R Y, and again that means that means angles that add up to 90 degrees. So they're telling us that angle G, which is this angle right here, and angle H, which is which is this angle right here, if I add them up, I get 90 degrees. So let's do that. 2x plus 10, that's angle G, plus x plus 20, that's angle H, gives us 90 degrees. So here I'm going to add like parts x and 2x, that gives me 3x. 20 and 10, or 10 and 20, sorry, equals 30. So 3x plus 30 is 90. And now to figure out <coughs> x, we can subtract 30 from both sides. Do that over here. So 3x plus 30 is 90. Subtract 30 from both sides. What do we get? Well, 30 minus 30 is 0. 90 minus 30 is 60, so 3x, we haven't touched that yet, plus 0 is 60. I'm going to rewrite that as 3x equals 60, and then divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 60 divided by 3, which is 20. So don't be tempted here to circle 20 degrees, because they want to know the measure of g, angle g, and angle g is not just x, that's what this is right here, we have x. Angle g is what? It's 2 
x plus 10. So we take this value and plug it into this equation, and we get 2 times 20 plus 10, which is 40 plus 10, or 50 degrees, and I get d. Okay, so this is asking in the diagram below what is the measure of angle x. So here's x right here, and we have 37 degrees, so one one way to approach this is to recognize that both x and 37 sit on this line, so they have to be supplementary. So 37 plus x, right, they're a supplementary pair, have to add up to 180 degrees. And to figure out the measure of x, I'm just going to subtract 37 from both sides. Here 37 is giving me 0 because it's 37 minus itself. Here 180 minus 37 I, I think is 140, 43, and that's my value for x. And if you feel like this number is off, just check it by adding it to 37. And we do get 180, so here I get D again. The answer is 143 degrees.